During this guided prayer, we're going to focus on the word mercy. Let's spend the next few moments leaning into the word of God and let the word mercy offer revelation to our lives today. So go ahead and find a quiet space, clear your thoughts, and take a couple of deep breaths, and let's enter into the presence of God with prayer and thanksgiving. I once knew a pastor who told a story about the early days of having his driver's license, and uh, he kind of had a lead foot, and he ended up getting several speeding tickets, even to the point that he ended up getting his license suspended. And he was really upset about that and talking to a teacher at his school one day, and he made the comment, there's just no justice in this world. And his teacher quickly retorted back, no, what you got was justice, but what you wanted was mercy. And she kind of nailed it on the head, right? That's what we all want is mercy. But we serve a holy and just God, so how do we attain mercy when we're serving a holy God? Well, in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 16, it says, This is the covenant that I will make with them. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds I will write them. This is the important part. And their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Remember that, not by your merit, by the blood of Jesus. By a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us, through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. And having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Why is it so important that we have our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience? The answer is because we want to come into his presence, and we can't do that without mercy. And we don't have mercy without the blood of Jesus. But the good news is, if you're a believer, you live under that all the time. And you're right to go before the throne, to go to him with your prayer, to call on him anytime you need help, is always valid regardless of your behavior. Because you're not coming into his presence based off of that you're coming into his presence based off of the blood of Jesus. Hebrews 4, verse 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Lord Jesus, we thank you for what you did on the cross. We know that we have every right to come boldly right into the throne room and call out in any time that we need help, any time that we just want to be in your presence, any time for any reason. We're not held back. We're not prevented from being in your presence because we live under the umbrella of your mercy at all times because of what you did on the cross for us. Amen.